Hi everyone, I'm Chantal and I'm excited to begin my coaching journey with you here at Oil Camp by sharing with you a few thoughts about the importance of gratitude. We've been talking about amazing essential oil solutions, but it's really important, I feel especially here on a Sunday when we're reflecting oftentimes on our higher purposes and our divine calling as individuals and in the context of our families to remember that essential oils are an incredible gift. A gift of the earth, a gift from on high, and can really be brought into our lives in amazing ways to help support the responsibility that we have to care for our bodies. That being said, essential oils aren't everything. In fact, we need to be careful, I think, sometimes about absolutizing their power in our life and forgetting that our responsibility, our attitude, and our actions come alongside of these essential oils and oftentimes increase their effectiveness simply through our prayerfulness, through our kindness, through our generosity, and through gratitude. Gratitude is one of those incredible, incredible virtues that when practiced just magnifies goodness in our life and in the life of others. So I wanted to just propose a couple of essential oils to help support you in forming that habit in your life. I like to teach my children that virtues coincide and go alongside of our oils and we can associate certain oils with certain virtues. So I propose to you today the Emotional Aroma Therapy Kit, which by the way is our grand prize if you stay faithful to Oil Camp. So for all of you out there, this is a little sneak peek into the aromatherapy, the Essential Aromatherapy Kit. These, one, these uh, lovely six oils are Motivate, Cheer, Passion, Forgive, Console, and Peace. And while these properties in these oils are remarkable in stimulating neurological responses in the body, helping to soothe our emotional uh, chemical mess that we often have going, uh, we have to remember that each one of these represents an attitude that we have to practice in conjunction with these oils. So for instance, motivate, right? So often when we're feeling blue and discouraged, we need an oil to help just remind us that, oh my goodness, we've got so much to give in our life, so much talent to, to share, uh, so much goodness to give, and that there are so many other people out there waiting for us who have it worse off than we do. So use motivate the next time you're feeling blue. Cheer. If you're just looking for that pick-me-up, you need a bright, sunshiny moment, you're looking for some affirmation or a hug in your life and that's just not found perhaps in your relationships, that essential oil can help remind you that a smile is really just this far away. I tell my kids, you can be completely gloomy and the second you begin to smile, your entire body chemistry and your entire outlook changes. So think of cheer anytime you're looking to smile. Passion. There's so much I could talk about when it comes to passion. Um, I live with passion just kind of on my, on my uh, <laughs> coat sleeve, if you will. I love to be a passionate person. And, um, but believe it or not, there are times when I fall short in that department. Just the other day, you can ask Elena, I was feeling so gloomy and I needed that spark reignited. And I love what the essential oils do in terms of offering us a chemical uplifting experience, something that's invigorating, warming, uh, kind of igniting that fire. To me, it has some, it, uh, the passion blend has cinnamon in it, so it's like igniting the fire. You can sense that uh, almost uh, the second you smell it. Um, so the next time you're lacking passion or vision in your life, you could utilize the passion blend. Forgive. Forgive is powerful. Forgive is all about um, healing, healing where we've been wounded. Forgiveness is something that we have to actually practice and over time, especially if we've experienced serious trauma in our life, neurological pathways form in the mind that uh, continue to encourage certain thought patterns. The myelin sheath along those webs of neurological uh, thought patterns thicken and we need a neuro disruptor, something to wake us up and to help us realize that we can forgive, to give us a chance to choose again. Now, an essential oil isn't gonna forgive you, right? You have to do the work of asking forgiveness if you are the one that has hurt someone or of receiving forgiveness if in fact you've been wounded. But I think that this essential oil can serve a purpose in helping us physiologically be more predisposed to forgiveness. And that's a beautiful thing. 
console. I love this one, especially as a gift to those who are suffering. So when we're thinking and talking about gratitude today, think of someone in your life. Of course, be grateful for the blessings you have, but think of someone that you can serve. Send them a bottle of console. Share with them a little bit about your journey through essential oils and how it might be able to embrace them in a time of difficulty. And then peace, of course. We all need peace in our life. And peace really comes from gratitude. And that's where I wanted to end today. Peace is something that is a result. It's a byproduct of living a life that is full of joy and full of gratitude. So we, um, in our family, we have made up these cute little, actually some beautiful nuns made these up and we've since copied them. Um, my daily gratitude journal, right? And I love the little quote inside. It says, five a day keeps the blues away. Six or seven will show you heaven. Eight or nine and hope will shine. 10 or more and you will find the door to joy. So I encourage you, every time you get out your peace blend, make it your gratitude blend, apply it, and then count out the blessings in your life and see how that manifests in your joy, in your family, and in the joy around, and again, teach this to those that you know who need to experience joy. Gratitude's the key. Thanks so much for listening.